Hi everyone, it is Lily Galici and you are behind the scenes at the Bellamy headquarters. Many people don't know this, but my natural hair is short, thin, and far from what you see on social media or television. My larger than life, super glamorous hair is created with Lily Hair Clip-In Extensions by Bellamy Hair. We are going to show you exactly how we clip them in and transform my short, thin hair to fabulous glam hair. All right guys, so we're getting started to transform my hair. What are we doing first, Jesus? So first, we are gonna section the hair and we are gonna clip the first extension and it's a three-prong extension, so it's like the one with the three clips. So I'm gonna show you guys, Lily hair is beyond thick. It is 260 grams of hair. The average hair extension pack for comparison is about 120 grams. So you're almost at three times the thickness of your average hair. The hair is also double drawn. What that means is from top to bottom, it is super thick. I did this because I like big, thick hair, and I found myself wearing two or three packs of extensions to get the look I wanted. With Lily hair, you will never need more than one pack. So what do you need first? Um, the three prong ones. All right. There's like three of them in the pack, and this is for example, and that one goes directly, directly at the bottom. So Lily hair is shorter and you really have to camouflage the bluntness of her haircut by placing a lower extension so whenever she throws it forward, it blends in perfectly. A lot of people accuse me of wearing lace front wigs because my own hair is so short and blunt. They say I can't possibly be wearing clip-in extensions that blend so well. I do not wear lace front wigs. As you guys will see, the extensions blend seamlessly in with your own hair. So make sure to lightly tease every row before placing, just for extra support and extra cushion. One, two, three. It's literally that easy to clip them in. Done. And so you guys know, this hair is straight from the box. We haven't done anything to it at all. We haven't cut it, we haven't straightened it, we haven't curled it, so this is exactly how your hair will come. So now for the next section, I still like it to keep it lower just because like again, I said her hair is very blunt at the bottom. So I'm gonna do another row of the same thing. But here I'm gonna place the four prong extension just because it's gonna be a little bit wider. And all four prongs mean is four clips. That's a lot of delicious hair. There you go, sir. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so fab already. Get in there. Everyone just looks better with long hair. Everyone. So a light tease again. Every row. You have to lightly tease it so it does not move out of place. And that feels so secure. It's not pulling at all. It's not painful. And trust me, as someone that wears these extensions for hours and hours and hours, they will not hurt and they will not move. So you're just following the same installation? The same installation pattern. So now I'm just going across the head. So directly all the way across, I am taking the section right above where it naturally is just because you want the bottom part to be thicker because Lily's hair is cut bluntly and it's thicker at the bottom so you need more extension at the bottom for it to blend seamlessly. It's good, it's good for finer hair just because it makes your hair a lot fuller and it's a lot easier to style yourself. Now, for a person with thicker hair, I would not recommend to have like a blunter haircut. But for somebody that has finer hair, it's, it's perfect, it's great. Because when you style it yourself, it's so full. Jesus also cuts my hair, so. I do it all. <laughs> so how many clips do you want this So one? I want the three prong clips. Okay. And I want two of them because I'm going to connect them. I'm going to do one, two, three, and then one, two, three on the opposite side. 
And guys, even after installing all this hair, we still have more hair left than what would come in another typical hair extension pack. That is the true beauty of Lily hair. You will never ever need more than one pack. All right, so here's one three. So that one in, super easy. And Lily hair is 100% human Remy hair. And what that means is you can do anything to it that you could do to your own hair. You can cut it, you can curl it, you can straighten it, you can style it, you can put products in it. And that's super important because not all hair is human hair. And if the hair is, you know, poor quality or synthetic, you won't be able to put all that heat to it and do the styling and it won't last as long. So it really is worth the investment to get a good set of hair once that will last you a really, really long time. Exactly what you did, just a little higher this time. You can leave a little bit more room than the first couple of extensions. So as you guys can see, we have installed about half the pack and are ready. My hair is so long, so thick, and my natural hair, which is super short and blunt, is just blending in seamlessly. Perfect. And this is with no styling. No styling. Once we put some curl in there or put a straightening iron to it, it will blend even more seamlessly. I love it already. So I get a lot of questions asking me, what color Lily hair do I wear? Well, my own hair is super black, so I wear color one, which is named Jet Black in Lily hair. This is the darkest the hair comes in, and even if it isn't exactly your own hair color, it's fine, because the clips go under the top of your natural hair, so it all blends beautifully. But I'm a number one. We still have a big four clip weft left that he's gonna put on the top to give a lot of volume. This is so pretty, like just one weft of lily hair is like a whole girl's hair. All right, the last one. The last one. Dun, dun, dun. These clips are also very secure. If you guys can see, I've never really sprayed hairspray in her hair and they're staying on pretty amazing. So you guys may have noticed that Lily hair was either two, three, or four clipped wefts. We don't have any one clip wefts because I just don't like them. I don't think that they add a lot of volume, they don't add a lot of hair, and I like big hair. So with Lily hair, you get seven wefts total of two, three, and four clip wefts. So now that we have all seven wefts of Lily hair in and we have this thick, long, beautiful hair, we have to style it. Now this is usually where we start curling and setting and creating my over the top, larger than life hair. But I'm gonna do something very different for you guys this time. Something that I don't usually do, sleek and straight. Alright guys, so now we are pin straight. All we use to get this look is a Bellamy flat iron. It was quick, easy, and the result is beautiful, sleek hair. 